Hi guys, Johnny here, and I'd just like to run you through watermarking in Lightroom. All right, let's get started. So as you can see, I've got an image here of a snow monkey from my recent trip to Japan, and we're gonna add a watermark to this image. All right, so the first thing we need to do is open the watermark editor and create our presets. So let's do that right now. So on a Mac, you'll find that under Lightroom, edit watermarks and on Windows you'll find it under file so if you go to file you'll find edit watermarks there so usually what happens is when you haven't opened the watermark editor for the first time the window is quite small so I'd recommend you drag it out a bit so just drag it out as large as you can on your screen there and why I say that is is, is, is it because it gives you a, a bigger preview of what your watermark is going to look like when you create the preset. So now there's two types of watermarks. There's a plain text watermark and there's also a graphic. So if you have a logo or something like that you like to insert as your watermark. And um, yeah, I'll take you through both of those now. So as you can see on the bottom left here, this is where I entered the text I'd like for my text watermark. And Lightroom's created something already. So we could do copyright Johnny Spencer. And if I head on up to the to the top side here, you can see I've got all my style controls for this watermark. So the first one we can see here is the font. And um, I'm a big fan of, of clean fonts. You know, something I like is, is Helvetica or Helvetica New or Arial is another clean font. Yeah, just a nice clean font. That's, that's what I prefer. And we've just got a style here. So you can bold or, or light or regular or whatever you prefer. Let's try the light. It just makes the text a little bit thinner and doesn't sort of dominate the image as much. So I'm going to actually put this, this on the right hand side today for the preset because this image actually needs it on the right hand side where I want to put the watermark and not directly over the main focus of the image. And that's something to take note when you're adding your watermark. Try and add it to a location where it's not going to subtract from the image too much. So if I click the color here, I can move that down to a black. I'm going to move that to a black. Now, the next thing is the drop shadow. I The drop shadow is fine. I'm not a huge fan of it. I like a more clean look to my um, text, so I'm going to turn it off there. But if you did want to use it, you know, all the all the controls are there for the opacity, the offset, the radius, and the, the radius and the angle. So, you know, feel free to play with that and get that how you like it if you prefer the drop shadow. I'm going to turn it off today. Okay, the next area we go to is the opacity, and this is quite important. I think with your watermark, it's great to lower the opacity. Um, with black, I like to take it down to somewhere between 60 and 70% if, if I'm going to use black text. And you can see what it's done there. It's actually, you you know, it's it's lightened up the Johnny Spencer um, watermark there, and, and it doesn't it doesn't take over the the image as much. You know, it makes it a little bit more subtle. So I definitely recommend a drop in your opacity. So the next thing here is the size of the text, and you can see if I drag that out, it's going to be big or small. Um, look, I am a big fan of you know not nothing too big and powerful that overtakes you know your your image. So I'm going to drop that down to around 12 there. And the next thing is your um, spacing. So you can see the horizontal spacing there. I'm going to move that out a little bit. And the vertical spacing, I'm just going to move it up a touch. So you can see that's looking quite nice now. And the next thing is your anchor point. So this is basically the corner or the center, wherever you choose, where your logo is going to be placed. And you can see as, as I click around the different anchor points there, it's moving my watermark around. For this one, I'm going to set it down to the bottom right. And then all we need to do from there is to save our preset. So if I hit the save button here and I call this Johnny Spencer text because this is a text watermark and hit create. Um, that, that's created the preset for my text and I'll show you where to get to those a bit later on in the export menu. But let's go ahead and create another watermark now from a graphic. So if I go back up to file, sorry, beg your pardon, if I go back up to Lightroom and go to Edit Watermarks. Now, in the top right-hand side, you'll see Graphic. So I'm going to tick that graphic and it's going to bring up a dialog box and ask me for where my graphic is. So if I go to the desktop, let's see now, we've got a white PNG. This is one of my logos here. I'm going to choose that. And the reason I use a PNG is because I like my the background of my graphic to be clear and see-through. And you'll see my watermarks appeared there on the left-hand side. 
Now, so that we don't need the text option, so we can close that with a little drop down arrow there. Now, the opacity, I still like to lower the opacity with white, you know, I like to keep it to between 70 and 80, and with black, I like to keep it between 60 and 70. So let's let's find something here, a nice happy medium, let's try 80, and 80 seems to look pretty good there, as you can see. The other thing I wanted to do is to just bring it in a touch there and drop it down a bit lower with the horizontal and um, vertical controls there. All right, let's have a look at that. How's that looking? That's looking pretty good. Um, the other thing I would say is we could probably just bring that size just up a touch, you know, so it's not going to dominate the image, but um, you can see there that's looking pretty nice. All right, I'm, I'm quite happy with that size. Now, I have created a couple of presets from graphics that were my black graphics, which is what I will use when I do export this image because I'm going to, I want to place the watermark on the right-hand side of this image so it's not um, interfering with the main subject. But what I normally do is I create a white and a black preset and I also create a left and a right anchor point. So I'll show you how to do that now. So you can see in the anchor points, I've got this one set to left. On the left side here so as you can see the logo's there so let's go ahead and save that and i'm going to call that um white left so let's create that there then i'm going to go back up to lightroom and open the watermark editor again and the top here i'm going to select white left but this time i'm going to move the graphic move my my watermark to the right anchor point and I'm going to save that and call that white if I can type <laughs> okay that's better <laughs> white right and we're going to create a new preset there I'm going to open up that watermark editor now and I just want to show you quickly if you look up the top right uh, left hand side here of the editor you can see that's the Johnny Spencer text preset the left black and right black which is two I created earlier and the two I've just created which is the white left and the white right that's the graphic there all right so let's cancel that all right let me show you how to add the watermark to your image now so you just need to select the image that you want to add the watermark to and if I right click here I can go down to export and export and here is the export dialog box here so I've already created a preset and um, there's a video on visual wilderness about um, exporting your images and resizing them from the web from Lightroom so I'll add a link to that on the bottom here now but um, what I want to do is click that preset and let me close up these ones here. So I've got my settings already set here for the web. The last thing I need to do is add my watermark. So if I open the watermark um, dialog here, I can choose watermark and I'm actually going to add the uh, right hand side black is the one I'm after. So the only thing I need to do now, now I've told it I want to use that watermark preset here, is hit export. And you can see Lightroom is going ahead and resizing the image and adding my watermark. And in a few seconds here, it will be turned up on the desktop. And here it is here. And you can see Lightroom has added that watermark to the right-hand side of this image down here. And that image has now been exported and watermarked and ready to go up on the web. So it's as easy as that, guys. Um, good luck with it. And thanks for watching.